Morgan Wallen's latest arrest back on April 8th for allegedly throwing a chair from the rooftop balcony area of Eric Church's brand new bar, Chiefs, which is on Lower Broadway in downtown Nashville, has garnered up quite the conversation and presented many questions as well about Morgan Wallen's near future, especially since he has been charged with three felonies, three counts of reckless endangerment, as well as a misdemeanor charge for disorderly conduct. And as expected, Morgan Wallen's team and attorney have been silent on this incident as we have only received a small statement from his attorney. The statement that we received was at 10.53 p.m. Sunday evening, Morgan Wallen was arrested in downtown Nashville for reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. He is cooperating fully with authorities. But until this comes to a close, what will the near future of Morgan Wallen look like when you start thinking about he has a bunch of shows lined up as he's already kicked off his 2024 tour and has already performed two of those nights out at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana. And then you have Morgan Wallen, who is expected to be opening his brand new bar known as This Bar later this year. That is still the expectation for that bar to open. And in just a moment, we're going to get to an expert on this who spoke to the New York Post about his thoughts of Morgan Wallen being an owner uh, with this new bar and what the possibilities with the bar will be if he is written in as an actual owner and what the future of the bar could look like if that happens. But first, let's talk about Morgan Wallen's upcoming shows. We have an update for you on that. Something interesting that was said by athletic director Keith Carter from Ole Miss, where he was talking about one of Morgan Wallen's upcoming shows at the University of Mississippi. Now, Morgan Wallen has a bit of history with the University of Mississippi. As we know, last year he was scheduled to perform at the Vault Hemingway Stadium. And this is the concert where, if you guys remember, Morgan Wallen was set to take the stage. It was only moments before he was supposed to take the stage. The show ended up being canceled. And the cancellation that night came after Morgan Wallen had been dealing with vocal issues and had lost his voice, which we know he went on to explain and go into detail further after this incident, what had been going on with his voice even prior to the tour starting. But he had made the decision to continue to try to tour with his vocal issues. However, ultimately on that night, it got the best of him and he was forced to cancel that show. And the reason that this is much of the conversation right now is because that show, of course, was rescheduled and he was supposed to be back out at Ole Miss coming up very soon. And of course, fans are wondering, is this makeup show going to happen or is he going to have to cancel again. And the athletic director, Keith Carter, who I mentioned earlier, uh, gave a statement on this. And what's interesting is he says, we are aware of the situation, but no changes have been relayed to us yet. We are obviously monitoring everything closely. So at this time, there is no real definitive answer on whether or not Morgan Wallen will make this show. This is his next show on his schedule at Vault Hemingway Stadium. It's on April 20th. So there is still some time uh, before we really know if this will be a show that goes on or if this will be a show uh, that does not go on. But just real quick to take a look at what is upcoming even after that show, you have April 28th, he's at Stagecoach. May 2nd, he's at Nissan Stadium, as well as May 3rd and May 4th, which we know the court date is on May 3rd. And again, it is uncertain if these dates will be affected. Now we're gonna move into Morgan Wallen's bar, his new project, this bar, which is supposed to be open later this year. As I stated earlier, there's an expert who has spoken on this. His name is Rob Pinson, a partner an alcohol licensing specialist at a law firm known as Adams and Reese out in Nashville. He spoke to the New York Post. And here is some of his thoughts on what he believes the bar's future could look like if Morgan Wallen in fact became a written in owner for this bar, which if that is the plan, according to Pinson, they may want to go ahead and get on this sooner rather than later. And here's why this is what he had to say. He says, if Morgan is planning to be an owner, they might want to apply soon because having a felony conviction, which he does not currently have, could disqualify him from getting a liquor license. He goes on to add, but a lot of these celebrity branded honky tonk deals are royalty based and he could get royalties rather than being an owner. Deals like that receive less scrutiny than straight ownership and likely won't be an issue for him. Now, another interesting thing to note here is Morgan Wallen's spokesperson did tell the Post that this bar will open this summer. Now, a representative for TC Restaurant Group did not return calls. The TC Restaurant Group is a business who has struck a lot of deals with celebrity-based bars. 
uh, in these honky-tonk dealings down on Lower Broadway like Jason Aldean's, Luke Bryan's 32 Bridge, Florida Georgia Line. So one would imagine if there is a partnership there that this would be a TC restaurant-based group a uh, bar that will open up using, of course, Morgan Wallen's name, image, and of course, one of the titles of his song for the name of the bar, This Bar. So Pinson's take on this doesn't look like it will affect the bar from opening, but if there's anything in the deal that we may not know about where he mentions if Morgan Wallen is a written in owner, the deal could be harder to get done as the liquor licensing would become an issue if he was convicted for the felony charges. However, with court, it is not uncommon to see plea deals uh, get struck, which would offer Morgan Wallen the opportunity to take a, a lesser charge, moving it maybe to a misdemeanor. Therefore, he, he would not have a felony conviction on his record if this case were to move forward and a plea deal was struck. And as we know, Morgan Wallen has his attorney and will be looking for the best way to get Morgan Wallen right back on his feet. That's your latest update here from CountryCast. Be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss out on any breaking news and updates.